Welcome to Lecture Online, and here I want to bring your attention to the fact that sometimes, given certain parameters of a triangle, you can't actually find the solution. Sometimes they kind of try to bait you on that. So let's say they give you two sides at an angle. So we're sitting, we have a side-side angle situation, and uh, they tell you that side B is 5 and side A is 10. So far, not a problem. And then they tell you that the angle B opposite of B here is 80 degrees. Now realize that since side B is only five units long and you don't know what the angle is, you do realize that if you draw a compass right here, a compass arc like here, you can see that side B could only at the maximum go out to this arc right there as far as it can go. And since this angle right here is 80 degrees and so you know that this side cannot move up any closer to this direction, you can see that the three sides can never touch each other, can never meet one another. You're in a situation where at first you say, okay, if I'm given these parameters, I think I'll be able to solve using the law of sine. If you don't actually have a picture of the triangle and see what it looks like, you end up with something like this. You end up with the sine of A divided by uh, side A is equal to the sine of B divided by sine B is equal to the sine of C divided by side C and notice they give us A, B and B so in that case I would try to find angle A. I would use this part of the equation to try and find angle A and let's see what would happen. So we end up with the sine of A is equal to A divided by B times the sine of B and of course then we take the arc sine of that to find the angle so A would then be equal to the arc sine of A uh, times the sine of angle B divided by side B and of course you already know that if this number is not between 1 and negative 1 you can never find the angle then you can never take the inverse sine of that. So let's see what we get. Oh, let me plug in the numbers first. So we have A is equal to the arc sine of side A would be 10 times sine of B would be 80 degrees divided by sine B would be 5 I think you're beginning to see that there might be a problem here. Let's see what we get. So it would be 2 times 80, take the sine of that, equals 1.97. So that means that A is equal to the inverse sine of 1.97. And here, this is where you have the problem. This number has to be between positive 1 and negative 1 in order to take the inverse sine from that. So that means there's no solution, no answer. There's no angle that can be found to satisfy this particular problem and so therefore there's no solution to this particular problem. So just be forewarned that sometimes they throw these in there and don't be surprised that this happens to you.